This week on Micro Monsters, we're going to be reviewing a kit that we got in the um, presents for winning the Maplin Microbit competition. So this week we're going to review the Royal Room Kit from Little Bits. Uh, it looks like quite a fun little kit. It's got lots of stuff in it. If you have a look on the back and on the side, I'm going to go through and have a bit of a play. Um, but we've also found that it has its own app. Uh, the little bits, all of the kits have an app and you can go and get lots of new ideas about what people have done with it. So we're going to try that out, Natasha and I, and show you what it's like. Let's get on with it. Uh, so here's the kit, we're going to open it up and have a look inside. So what's the first thing we've got? We've got a little book that tells you what you can make. So I just opened that on a random page. And there is so one. So how's it start? It's so got, like, has it got some introductions and things? Yeah, it's got the little bits basics where it tells you what you can do. Okay. And it tells you what you do and stuff. Tells you little bits about it. Yeah, tells you about the app, which we'll have a look about yeah. later. Tells you about all the little bits that come with it yeah. that make up all the kits. But then the really more interesting bits is where you can start to make some kits. So I think we're probably going to have a go at the Creepy Eyeballs kit. But you can see that each each um, kind of idea has a, a how difficult it is. So this is a one difficulty out of five and how long it will take to do for that activity. So it's a 20 minute activity and it shows you all the bits that you need. So that's probably what we'll have a go at, but let's have a look at the rest of the box. So let's put that there. Somewhere in here, I know we have got the makey makey bit, which is this. Yeah. If you don't know what a makey makey kit. looks like. So we've got another one of these we've played with that you can plug into your computer and do all kinds of stuff. It's quite cool. I think this has to be a buzzer. You think it's a buzzer? Have you not seen one of these before? I have. It's, it's a, a servo. No, it's a buzzer. It's a servo. It says buzzer right there. It says Dayton Analog Servo. It's one of the ones, the servo that turns around. You know we play with those? Oh yeah. So that's so like a, kind of like a motor, but a motor you can put in a particular place. We've got some crocodile My favourite, I have to do these, I have to do crocodile clips. Ah. Yeah, I like crocodile clips. They're yeah. good. We've got some of those. And then we got the battery. We've got a battery. And the thing that clips into the battery. Battery. Yeah. Clip. I think that that might be a buzzer. That's not a buzzer. This bit. I That's think this might be, maybe. That's not a buzzer. That's not a buzzer? No, it's not a buzzer. It's These bits are definitely LEDs, aren't they? Because it says bar yeah. graph. It's a bar And that one says buzzer. Can you see? No. Yeah. Oh. Buzzer. And then, right. so this must be the things you push so it, in for an alarm that or one? something. What do you think it is? Alarm. Look, we can turn this. Tightening things up. For tightening things up, it's, yeah. I think it's probably um, a potentiometer or a dimmer. It's for oh. turning things up or down, like volume controls and stuff oh. like that. All right. Well, it's like my speakers I have. You know, the yeah, they have a volume control, that'll be it, one of those. Mm -hmm. And this one here, if you look up, what's it saying? Let's get it near the camera. It says... It says it's a sound, sound trigger. trigger. So it's a microphone. And I think it's the last one. Yeah. What's that say on it? It's not the last one, actually. It looks like... It says power. It says power, yeah. It's got a little thing for plugging some power in and a little on and off switch I think. Wait, do you think there's stiff. something under here? Because I'm oh, I can remember how the cake is so I'm doing it. So you can remember when you got like chocolate something yeah, under, so there's more they, under. Yeah. Okay. This is the base for the one so we are going to be kit? starting on. Is it? Yeah. You, you, have, you have not lift your light. It looks like some eyes, yeah so that must be to make through that. Uh, what's this? That's the charger. It's a USB cable yeah. And then that I is no a fun that is. thingy. It's actually a... I don't know. It's for clipping things on, I think, later. It's called a mountain board. We've got a few little bits <laughs> for sticking on the plastic and things to stick we on the servo. We have a uh, mechanical arm. An arm. 
Uh, and right at the bottom. It won't come out. It won't come out. I'm sure we can get it to come out. It's just a bit of card, I think. I think it's glued. You think it's glued? Yeah. I think it might just be stuck in the bottom here. So a look. No, it's coming out. Oh, it hits. It's not. And it's out. There we go. Uh, it's just a bit of card with uh, inventor's stuff on, so from the app. So that's what's in the box. Uh, let's put those back in for a minute until we start building. Um, move those out of the way a second. And then the app. Um, we've selected the build your own room kit. Uh, and then we go into that. It gives you some inventions. So some of these are in the book, the, bur the burglar buzzer we've seen in the book. Mm -hmm. the burglar buzzer um, but it's, and a buzzing booklet so, so I think the first few there we are creepy eyeballs that's the one we're going to do um, but there's some they are top secret safe is one that we might try another day I think yeah, like, I really but that like isn't in the book but it's got some things in here you can see it kind of leads you through the bits you need shows mm -hmm. you what's going on lots of comments from people looks pretty good okay let's get started on our first one uh, so we're going to build this creepy eyeballs kit and um, we've got um, instructions here about what parts to get out so let's go through those we've got our nine volt battery and our lead for the battery um, and then we've discovered that these little bits all the little bits that we're being asked actually are magnetic and when you get them around the right way <laughs> they actually clip together some of them maybe these two don't this one definitely does. Yeah, that one definitely. Those two definitely do. So you clip them together, which is quite fun. Maybe that's the part we're going to see in a minute. But We've got a little screwdriver. What are these things here? Um, these are Obsephus shoes. Ad adhesive shoes. They're stickers. They've got stickers on the back that stick them things. And then we've got Hello? this kind of template thing. Yeah. Um, and I'm guessing we're going to have to make our own little bits. So let's have a go. Let's. Have, what's the first page? We, yeah, first we have a page. Look here. It says take the bar graph, the sound trigger, and the power. So press adhesive shoes onto your. We've got to connect three together like this. Can we see? Yeah. So if I take this off the battery, take there's a little bit of plastic on the battery, just to stop it shorting. Let's take that all off. Yeah, that uh, is and then cool. what have we got to do? We've got to clip this to the battery. Can you do that for me? You've got to get around the right way, haven't you? So if you look, they've got to be the opposite. Okay, yeah. that's that bit done. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it's got the blue bit connected to the pink bit connected to the green bit. Can you do that? So blue bit connected to the pink bit. Well, it won't connect. Will it not connect? Maybe it has to go around a particular way. So if you look at the edges of these, they have little bits. Yeah. And you have to turn them around the right way. They're both got uh, And we want the sound trigger. So it's that way around. Ah, thanks. Do we want the 09 bar or the... We want the bars, yeah. It's just on that one stage. Oh. That way up. There you go. That is how easy it is to make a yeah. circuit with these kit. And you can mm -hmm. kind of remix them by putting different bits in so that's quite cool mm -hmm. uh, and then what does it say we have to do for the next step it says we have to connect but well, we haven't done the first bit yet we haven't oh. connected this so yeah connect that to there but also stick feet on the back so i think you want to stick, stick feet, feet yeah the back so now. i think they go Sure, Wait, do I do I start peeling now? You start peeling now. I'm not sure where you're meant to stick the feet. I'm sure. I think they go on these bits. Oh. Because if you look when we peel it off, you're gonna. You I hold it. it. You, you're gonna. Oh, we're gonna. Yeah. You won't do that. You have to get your finger underneath. I will do the peeling on I and you. Or maybe we're not. Ah, we're not. We're not meant to peel yet. You see, he's clever. Oh. You stick these bits. They clip on. Like that. That's quite cool. Let's oh. find the other one. And we'll stick it onto our invention later, I guess. Yes. So we just need two of those yeah. stuck on. Oh, necklace. Oh, push them on. Okay, it's that. And then plug that into there. Oh! Oh! What happened? LED started flashing. Yeah, it turned on, didn't it? So yeah. we've got an on and off switch here that we can yeah. turn it all 
on and off. Oh, I like it. Um, so the next switch says turn the power on and then use the screwdriver to adjust this tiny, tiny, you might be able to see here, little screw there to adjust the sensitivity. And I guess it means how much noise you have to make. So let's make some noise. Are you adjusting it? So when I talk, it's bright. Right, all the time. So we want to make it so it only goes, only triggers when someone talks. So, so we whisper. And then if we go loud, it does it. Oh, I want it to be, um, I want it to hear everything. Okay, so it's then like we, the creak we should of a door. increase the sensitivity a bit. So if we whisper and we go a bit louder, yeah, it's getting more sensitive. So it means that a smaller sound will trigger it and it stays on for a few seconds. Hi. Hi. That works, doesn't it? Okay. I want it more. It well, bigger. we can play with it and try it out. Okay, Wait. so the next bit, assemble your template. So let's move the circuit over here and turn it off for a second. This is our template. Are you going to assemble it? Are you looking at the pictures? I don't need You pictures. don't need pictures. I know everything. Do you know that's what they say men, men don't ever read instructions. Yeah. So you should be reading instructions. Say, Come on. Oh wait. I say that true engineers don't read instructions, not men. Good they don't, do they? We just try it out. What? You did it wrong? I did it wrong for once? I, I never get it wrong. <laughs> do you never get it wrong? No. Are you perfect? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Right, so there's, uh, I think, it reminds me of the Iron Giant, those eyes, isn't it? So that's that bit. Now what's it say we've got to do? So let's... We have to place it on the magic. Place it on there. Is that what it's saying in here? Um, yeah. Kind of looks like it. So if we turn it around for everyone else, it's kind of got it in like that. Mm -hmm. But you can see it here. Okay. Now, get your sound activated creaky eyeballs to light up. Just make a sound. So we need to turn it on again. Yeah, it picked up your scary sound. Um, but you can customize it yourself, it says, by drawing your own eyeballs um, and then sticking them in and sticking them with tape. So maybe we will go and do that uh, on a bit of paper. Yeah. Should we go and do that? Yeah. Basically, how it works is we just made some colouring, as you know, and then we've stuck it on with some blue tack. And these holes, we basically, this wire, we put the hole over it, so there's the hole there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And so basically, how it works is the light's flashing because I haven't stopped talking. So if you make a noise, it will basically start flashing you wait a few seconds for it to go and then the more sensitive you want it so the more you can hit they can hear you will get the screwdriver and screw that tiny hole that my finger is just above so the mon like any noise even jumping but it has to be a loud jump will affect it so it turned green it works better in the dark as you know because we just find out and all. so have you enjoyed making this one yeah this one was Scoop by kit. far the best but we can make lots more with this kit can't we so yeah. it's not just this one no it's not cool. just this one yeah right thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you in our next video bye bye